morning just out for a little morning stroll and I always tend to think when I'm walking so what was I thinking this morning as I was walking why do we mask I started to learn to mask without realizing I was masking at an early age why because my natural behaviors were not considered appropriate. You know, you don't walk along all funny on your tippy toes. That's silly, that's ridiculous. Learn to walk properly. You don't make funny noises. You don't flap your arms around. You don't stand out from the crowd. You know, keep still, don't fidget, don't do this, speak like that. Always, you know, and as you go old, grow older and want to express yourself more through clothing or art or, or whatever, again, it's no, you're not going out like that. That's ridiculous. You can't do this. You can't do that. So you learn from an early age that you're, no long, you're not valid. Who you are is not important. So you squash that little par person down. And that's what I did my entire life, squashed myself down to try and fit into a norm. I didn't get on at school. I wasn't like the other kids. I was different. I was bullied, I was picked on, I was called names, people threw things at me. And that's what it's like being autistic. It doesn't matter where you are, you feel odd and out of sorts and know that you're different to everyone else, but you don't know why. So you mimic people. You put on a mask. You practice being like them. You do everything you can to be like the people around you to try and fit in. But it doesn't work. I know in one of my relationships, you know, I had kids and he had kids. Now, I really wanted acceptance from his kids. And he wanted his kids to accept me. So he would, without being mean or at all in any way, you know, I would feel pressured to behave in a certain way, to try and be the person that I thought, uh, I hate the term, it sounds a bit evil, but a stepmother should be. And obviously that never felt right. I never felt like I could be my authentic self. You know, and it's a very close family, a big family with lots of get-togethers. And I absolutely adore all these people. And they were all great with me. But I never felt so alone as when I was with these people. When you're autistic, you are always alone in the crowd. You know you don't belong. So you try on all these different masks, all these different behaviours, all these different clothing styles, all these try and adopt all these different interests, anything to try and fit in. And all you feel like on the inside is that you're an imposter, you're fake, you're invalid, you're not worthy. And people don't even have to be mean for you to feel that way. That's how you feel yourself, because you know that you're different and you don't know why. I'm at the stage now where I'm slowly trying to unmask and be myself. It's going to be a slow process, but knowing that my difference is neurodiversity makes all the difference to me. It validates me, and that is important. I feel validated myself. And from that point, I can move forward and unmask my way at my pace. It's going to be different for everybody, but I'm on this journey now. Wish me luck. Thank you. Be well.